Hi, my name is Jack Zhong, and I'm from Ningbo, China. And my school is the web school in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. And I am currently a senior and about to graduate after this school year. My hobby is collecting soccer jerseys and playing soccer. And my favorite subject is history. So I completed a history research project this summer with Eureka and Professor Fisher. And I choose to do the African leader's role in the Atlantic slave trade for my topic. This is because I was fascinated by African history while taking World History One in my freshman year. African history was not as popular as European history. And as mentioned in my paper, most scholarship has focused on the transatlantic slave trade itself and viewed the slave trade from the European side. Very few works have discussed the role of African leaders and their views and perspectives regarding the slave trade. Therefore, when I had the opportunity to complete my history research project, I quickly told my professor that I wanted to do the topic of Af African leaders' role in the Atlantic slave trade. Before I started my research, Professor Fisher talked about the background of Atlantic history and some fascinating and instructive history from different aspects. Some of the readings was very helpful for my research, and I used one about enslaved Muslims in Africa for my paper. Afterward, I learned how to search on JSTOR, and Professor Fisher gave me valuable online resources to do my research. Since West Africa, is a major contributor to slave trade. I gather information about slave trade history from different parts of West Africa. I read through them and collected any information about African leaders' action during the slave trade, whether they participate on or resisted in the slave trade. Then I met problems that very few primary resources I could find online and many resources didn't contain information about the author or the original website. I talked this with my professor and he helped me to find various valuable sources online. And even though many sources had unknown authors or publishers, Professor Fisher taught me how to cite them with a different style. I successfully got all the information I needed and I tried to sort them out and structure an outline for the paper. I could quickly write out the paper when I finalized the outline. And during the writing process, Professor Fisher could always give me useful suggestions. And I finally wrote the paper out with his great help and suggestions. From this research experience, I really gained a lot of knowledge on how to complete research. I learned how to find helpful information online or how to cite source properly and grab the essential information in a passage. Those secondary and primary resources greatly improved my reading skills. Moreover, I had a better view from both European and African leaders' role in the Atlantic slave trade. It was very interesting to view this time period from two different sides. At the end of the Atlantic slave trade, the Europeans were able to control the Africans with their advanced knowledge and technology. Wars between the African power and greed for the profits and European commodities eventually lead to the fragmentation in Africa. And the split between different ethnic regions disabled Africans from uniting and fighting against Europeans. And at last, I would like to thank Professor Fisher and the Eureka program for helping, helping me to write out a research paper. I've never had research experience before. I think this research program can help me when I enter the college. And since history is the most sub exciting subject for me, I will continue to learn it and learn more in the college. When I enter college, those skills will still be helpful for me and to apply them in college classes or researchers. Thank you.